Hello and welcome to the PQA Virtual Film Festival screening of award-winning films from our wonderful Green Group students. These short films are the best to come out of our academies across the UK and it's marvellous to be celebrating them online in this way. Despite not being able to get into the cinemas at the moment, fingers crossed, we will be back in person next year. The PQA students and staff that were involved in the making of these films that you are about to see should be feeling especially proud of their work, both in front of and behind the camera. They have done so well in being selected for the PQA Film Festival by our judges. Well done. I am so proud of our film and television module at PQA and it's fantastic to see the talent on display here and the excitement and creativity that filmmaking can bring. I hope that you are sitting comfortably with popcorn and your favourite treats to hand. Enjoy watching the films. I know I will. Bye for now. taking them so long. I know, they wanted to see us and then they keep us waiting. It's just typical of Ollie now. Brilliant scientists, useless at timekeeping. I think in the future we should just video call or text. But why do we need to actually meet? Welcome my friends, welcome. We forgive you for your late arrival. We were detained by the most important of businesses. Yes, we forgive you for your late arrival. It's okay. We forget your late arrival. Oh, good, good, good. Now, important business, my friends. You are here to witness the most remarkable event in human history and perhaps human future. Yes, human future. I have here with me the first ever time orb. You mean it's a, it's a, it's a time machine? Yes, my friends, it is a time machine. And you are here to witness the first ever time travel experiment. My assistant, Ali, and I will travel 100 years into the future and back again in an instant. Are you sure it's safe? Oh, yes, we're sure it's safe. We think this is our first trip. Of course it's safe. I calculate that the journey will drain the energy of you for a short time. But when it recharges, we will be back in more than a blink of an eye for all of you, my friends. See you in the future. Just as I calculated, it will need time to recharge. According to my time watch, we have indeed travelled 100 years into the future. Strange, doesn't look all that different. Well, we're here now, let's take a look around. My goodness, who or what are you? Brains, sneak, human, brains. Um, Ollie, I think we should go now. Brains, sneak, human, brains. Yes, Ali. On this occasion, your proposed action course has a Solid scientific foundation. Where did you come from? 
Where'd you bring the path? What clothes are they? What are you doing? Hiding here. The same as you, hiding from them, the Moboids. Moboids? Yes, the ones who joined mobiles and became androids. Moboids. Brains need human brains. You mean those things are human electronic hybrids? Of course, where have you been for the past century? What? Why? How did this happen? The story starts 100 years ago. It was the time of the mobile phones. They got powerful, they got smart, and they got addicted. We didn't realise it at first. It was all just a bit of fun. We watched videos, we shared photos. When we wanted to get somewhere, our phone just told us the way. We all thought it was great. Life was simple, it was easy. Everything we wanted was at our fingertips, but it didn't stop there. As technology advanced, mobiles did more and more for us. We stopped exploring, stopped doing. We were just looking down. Everyone, everywhere, just looking down. The mobiles can't create art, can't appreciate the beauty of the world. They need our human brains to survive. We just stopped speaking to each other, we just consumed. Eventually, we never came offline. That's how we became what we are today. There are only a few of us humans left. This is dreadful. I can't believe this is our future. Ollie, let's get back to the past. I mean the present. You know. Take us with you, please. The time warp is only configured for two people. I'm sorry. Quickly, you must go. Leave now. Warn everyone. Change the future. We will. We promise. Goodbye. Time's up, no boys. Welcome ladies and gentlemen 
to the chocolate baking competition. Here, eight contestants will compete in the ultimate baking competition to see who is the best baker in town. Whoever comes out on top will walk away with this amazing mystery prize. Let's meet our bakers. Hi, my name is Jasmine Doe and I started baking when I was five years old and I'm very confident about this competition. Hi, my name is Tlingwit. I've been baking ever I've been baking ever since I was two with my dad and I love to bake cookies. Hi, my my name is Bella Powder. I have been baking ever since I was four. I I I like to bake I love to bake a cake. I'm really ner- I'm really nervous about this competition. I don't I don't think I'll win. Hi, I'm Poppy C and I've been baking since I was five. I'm actually really scared about this competition. My favourite thing to bake is giant cookies. Hi, my name's Sophia Sugar. I've And I love to bake. Baking is the best. Hello, my name is Bella Stanley. I've been baking since I was two. My favourite thing to bake is brownies. And I think I've got a good chance of winning the competition. I'm just trying to bake the world a better place. Well, there you have it, folks. That's our lineup for this year's um, chocolate baking competition. I have to say. We have got some truly lovely bakers this year, as well as some competitive ones. They all look ready to get started. Before they do, let's meet our judges. Hello, my name is Hazelnut. I've been baking for years now. I've and been eating cake even longer. I expect rich chocolatey flavours and fantastic presentations. For me, this competition is half about taste and half about the look of it all. These bakers had better be ready for one intense morning. Hi, my name is Jessica East. I just want everyone to have fun. But it is a competition. Yes, I know, but I would like everyone to have a good time. Bake a leg, everyone. Don't worry about the prize. This is the whole thing that we're doing this. What a pair. Always arguing, but we invite them back every year. Right, bakers? In three, two, one, take it till you make it. about this. I don't know if it's cooked properly. I feel really, really happy that I made my creation. It's going in the oven right now. I really think I have a great chance of winning this best competition. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
only five more Fantastic bakes here. Buttery bottoms. We've truly got some legends in the baking. But we can't blend the rules. There can only be one winner. These look really tasty. I think I'm going to win because these look really tasty and I've got a good taste that I'm going to win. I'm feeling kind. I'm feeling kind of ner nervous. I mean, this 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 cake it is not is not looking good so far. I don't think I've put enough banana in it. Well, I thought that um, one of my scones was too small, but I realised that I was actually measuring it with the wrong side, and um, so everything's good. Yes, it's good. I've got my decorations and I'm sure that I'm going to win. I'm a bit nervous if we're going to win or not. Our winner was a real whisk taker. Our winner of the chocolate baking competition of 2021 is... Congratulations, Sophia. You really rose to the occasion. Please come and collect your prize. Our winner will open up the mystery box what all her hard work has brought her. Is this some kind of joke? All these hours baking and this is the prize. We spent our budget on the Christmas party. Jessica just had to have her macaroons. It appears so. Our winner isn't happy with her prize. Well, in that case... Bakers, ready, aim, fire! <laughs>
short, just do your job. Oh wow, what's this? This is the North Pole. No it's not. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. No it's not worth the snow. Why are you smiling like that? I just like smiles. Smile is my favourite. Make work your favourite. That's your favourite, okay? Okay. Work is your new favourite. Fine. Time for an announcement. Okay, people, don't forget, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa's here. I know him. I know him. <sighs> He'll be here to take pictures with all the children. Keep your receipts. 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10 a.m. tomorrow. Santa's coming to town. Can you sign this for me? Sure. Okay, can anyone tell me what a myth or a legend is, Madison? I think it's a story. Yes, it is a story. They're famous stories from a long time ago, um, but we don't know if they're actually true. Can anyone tell me a myth or a legend that they know? Ruben? George and the Dragon. Yeah, that's a good one, Milo. I think there's one called Medusa. Yeah, that is, that's correct. Catherine? Unicorn! Yes, yeah, they are. They are myths as well. Molly? Is it Jack and the Beanstalk? Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah, that's a good one. Kyla? Christmas elves. Christmas elves, that's another good one. They're very good answers. So did you actually know that we have a myth about a creature that lives very near here? <coughs> it has green skin and it's got big purple spikes down its back and it has a very, very long tail. The name of this creature is the Beast of Botany Bay. <gasps> Okay, pens, pencils down, everyone. Um, Archie, do you want to show us your drawing? I think the Beast of Botany Bay is scary. No, he's not. He's friendly. He wouldn't hurt anyone. He's a monster. Of course he's scary. Okay, okay. Well, we don't actually know the truth. That's why they're myths. I know the truth. He's real. He's my friend. <laughs> Calm down. Ruma, if you're telling the truth, then why hasn't anyone else seen him? He's shy. I'm sorry, you sent me sitting there. Where's your friends? Oh yeah, I forgot. They live at Botany Bay. No wonder nobody likes you, you liar.
What's wrong? They told me I'm a liar. Did you tell them about your monster friend? Well, I think it's lovely that you have an imaginary friend. I used to have one when I was growing up too. But maybe you should try and make some real friends too. He's real. He's more friendly than the other kids. I'm proud of you. Don't let anyone tell you not to use that imagination of yours. Maybe one day I can meet your friend. I want the robot technology. Use my new invention to capture them so all their technology will be ah! Yes, sir. Wah, ah, ah. Master, what's going on? 
I wonder if the treasure from this book is real. Don't be daft. You don't know. You didn't find the treasure. But I thought we should try and find it. Yeah, I agree. We can use our magic tent to get us there. Is it here? Nope, try again. Is it here? I can't see it. Try again. Treasure here. It's not here. Have you guys seen any treasure on here? Is the treasure here? Yep, I can see it. Guys, I'm gonna change position. Okay. Hi. Oh, can anyone put me in the direction of English class? Uh, we don't have English class here. Oh. Um, I'll find her myself. I don't think I've seen her before. Yeah, she were a bit weird. Right, we're going to have to cut her open. Yay! That sounds fun. <laughs> Hi, do you know where the English class is? We don't have English here. Oh, okay. You can cut her open and join us if you want. <laughs> Today, today we will catch her. 
Who is that? Hi, um, do you know the English classes? We don't do English here. I'm waiting. We chose girl flow. Is that a g g g g g a g g g g Yeah. Race ya! This is insane. I don't think I'm in the right school. Look, Agent Fury. Yeah, I told you a million times, don't worry, my superhero gang are on this. Yeah. They're the best superheroes in the world. Bye. <sighs> Ugh, warm juice. That's better. Good afternoon, my fellow heroes. How is everyone doing today? I'm really good. I've had a great week. Great. Where's Isabel? Here I am. So cool. Every time I wish I could be invisible. I think you have enough superpowers, Grace. Anyway, guys, it's time for our re weekly report back. What have we all been up to this week? Any lives saved? Anything to feed back to the group? Let's start with Icy Penguin and Laser Frost. Well, actually, our week is getting weirder and weirder. We think, and we're not 100 percent sure but we think our parents are out to get us i think they are evil that doesn't sound good we made some behind the scene footage to show you guys take a look right guys something weird is going on around the house my mum keeps asking me questions and saying that i should get a real job a real job now our superhero group is silly and dangerous. What's she hiding? Hmm. And why doesn't she want us to investigate? Let's find out. Boys, breakfast is ready. Breakfast? Suspicious.
Okay, okay, okay. This is serious business. Send me those clips and we'll start a secret mission. Yeah, will do. Right, so Aaron, what have you been doing? Well, I've been... Well, actually, I've been teaching Drew some moves. Okay, so, today I'm going to show you how to do the front kick. Watch very closely, it's really hard. Wow. Yeah, I know, your turn. Yeah, I know. I'm not really sure how to... No, no, no. Just try, try again. Like this. <laughs> Pause. Oh, lovely. How did that go then? Did you enjoy it, Dreamboo? Learn much? Well, I was just stood in one spot for ages. And then when I could move again, oh, was gone. So? Uh... Hope, did you leave Dreamboo on pause? You paused me. I knew it. Okay, that's enough, Matilda. This week's re re weekly report, please. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I may have accidentally put a spell on my mum. What? Oopsie, that's not good. How did you do that? Well, I was just looking through my spell book and, well, What do you think? Ooh, what's this one? It's hard to read. I'll give it a go. Ad Humium Pupa. Matilda? Matilda! <gasps> Don't poke me! Don't know what happened. Wow, um, Matilda? Are you crazy? I thought you were a master at this. I thought you knew how to do spells. I do, I was just looking at an old book and it wasn't in English and... Don't say anything else! She might put a spell on us! But... Silence! Mm. No, no more talking till we know it's safe. Good idea, Lola. Right, Chloe, what have you done this week? Please don't have put a spell on anyone or frozen anybody. No, I haven't. I promise. Uh, I've been really busy though. Uh, um, so, um, so I've been off another job. Really? What job? Don't leave our group, Chloe. Don't worry, Alexandra. I'm sure you can come too. Come on, tell us what job this is. Well, it's... I can't really tell. Why not? Well, it's a secret group that why of other superheroes. Chloe! I've got to go. I'll speak later. What is... That all about. Don't worry, Ice Penguin. Sorts out. Talk soon. Hi, Evelyn. I've got some news. 
Yep, I know all about your betrayal, Chloe. Lola, why just you tell her? Well, Chloe, you're either with us or you're not. I didn't say anything, Chloe. <laughs> just a stuck up icy penguin. Wow, Chloe, so disappointing. You won't find a better group of heroes than us, Chloe. We shall speak of this later. Finally, I can speak again. Don't try anything, Matilda. Okay, Lola, what have you done this week? I've got so much information from the animals. They can hear everything. Right, guys, what do we know? I've heard that Group X are planning to take over the world. And I was in Hawk's garden and heard their mum is trying to poison them. What well, guys, this is huge news. I put some secret cameras around the city. See what happens. When can we begin smoothing group X? In the next few days. But we need to be careful. Interesting. I'll see what I can do. Be careful, we can't know we know. Don't worry guys, remember, I can turn invisible. Great work, Isabel. Can I come with you on your next mission? I'll see what the animals have to say. Yeah, sounds fair enough. Okay, and Grace, what have you been up to? I, for one, have been really productive. I've been saving the planet, saving animals. Show off. Ah, a wonderful day. Wow, Grace, that's amazing. You're a true hero. A true hero? Are you kidding? Um, we saved our parents from taking over the world. And I got top secret, secret information from the animals. Everyone cheered for me. I'm being offered a job. We nearly saved over the world. Enough. Much, much better. Agent Fury is done.
funny looking. Like little dinosaurs. Did you know there are more chickens than people on earth? No way. What if they try to take over the world? This is my favourite. I'm going to call her Gertrude. Hiya Gertrude. <laughs> 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 there, she can join the party now. I wonder how, how old he is. How old is he? 14. 14? 14. He's tiny. He's small. Yeah. I'm just going to be the party. <laughs> right? He's gone away. Teddy. Please don't go. Teddy, Teddy, oh, Teddy. Oh. Teddy, Teddy. Great birthday everyone. I don't think it could have gone any better. to us again. I'm absolutely pooped. I can't believe we left him. He's only sleeping nine. You both saved us before, remember? We can save him too. But we're all supposed to stick together. <sighs> I know, but all we can do right now is stay awake to save him. Well, where's the safety base? We can help you with that. <laughs> no. Hello? <gasps> No, I'm the 
queen. You are in a how to get to a safety base right. How did you know that? We are goblins. We know everything. We're being chased by evil people and pink leg warmers. Can you tell us where the base is? No. Goodbye. Three goblins are going to be asleep for at least another three hours. You're lucky I found you in time. Come on, we have to go. Wait, who are you? I'm Dr. Pud, but we don't have time to answer questions now. All you need to know is I'm a friend. We have to get to safety. Should we trust her? Did you not just listen to me? I'm a friend. Well, you would say you're our enemy. Uh, I used to work with Dr. Bob, but he turned all evil and weird. Now I manage the safety base to rescue agents who don't want to wear them stupid pink leg warmers. We need to go. I believe her. Come on. Welcome to the safety base. Hey, girls. Hey, hey girl. girl. Agent Annie and Carrie, this is Agent Nine, Cat and Queen Popsicle. Hey, girls. Hey. 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 Me and Nine are going to go and see Special Agent Danny. Could you take Cat and Queen Popsicle to their friends? Our friends? Sure. Cool. Awesome. awesome. Follow us. Right this way. <laughs> hey, girls. Cat! Melise! Jessica! Queen! We've been so worried about you. What happened? After the assassins attacked you, we ran for our lives. We didn't know what to do or where to go, but then Dr. Pod found us and brought us here. That woman is an angel. Dr. Bob got colon bracket. He's still out there. We know he's going to be here soon. Dr. Pod's making an army and wants to put him to sleep. We need to be ready for their arrival. Dr. Bob hasn't always been like this. He used to be the nicest guy alive. He just got so collective one day. Dr. Bob wanted to make everyone at HQ wear pink leg warmers. At first they thought he was joking, but anyone who denied him... He put to sleep with the potion. He got Jamie Bond, Mrs. Platypus and Sneaky to be the hitmen to put the other agents to sleep. But what's his plan? He's never going to stop. At first he just wanted to be the most feared agent alive. Now he's power hungry. He wants to be the only Asian alive. Well, awake. I just want Colin Brackett back. He's always been my partner in crime. I feel lost without him. We're going to wake the agents up, Nine. I promise. We've been trying to find the sleeping agents, but they're too hard to track. So what's the plan? We're going to put him to sleep so he doesn't harm anyone again. So how long do you think we have before he gets here? Any second, second now. Smells disgusting. It was that annoying Pod's fault. What did you just say? Dr. Pod, she put us to sleep again. She disappeared with those other three after that stink one. My clothes are going to stink for weeks. Sir, I thought she disappeared. So did I. You don't think she's the one operating the safe base? I have a feeling she could be. I think it's time we check that tracker, don't you? I've got it there. I think it's time we give my old friend a visit.
What is it? I don't know, but it looks really cool. Stop, you don't know what it is. Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat, Ruby. Let's go and see. What brings you to our land? Who, who, who are you? I'm Superhero Batgirl. Oh, Superhero Batgirl? Well, I've always wanted to meet a superhero. He still haven't answered my question. Oh, sorry, we happened to find this whistle, blew it and happened to come across this thing, which led us to this land. Jack and Bobby fell in and we can't find them. And now we're lost. Aha, uh -huh, you must be the strangers who ended up in Unicorn Land. Unicorn Land? Yes, have you heard of it? No, but I've dreamt about it. So have I. How do we get there and find the others? Simple, we'll take you there. Oh, could you? Where did you get up to? You'll never guess what we've seen. Thank you, superhero, but I have another question. What might that be? How do we get back home? Oh, uh, yeah. You need a whistle. Oh, dear! Is this some sort of joke? Don't worry, we know where you're going, friend. There's a wait there, we'll get it for you. Wow, that was quick. All in a day's work. Should we? We have seen Dummy's face when we arrived. What do we do now? I guess we blow the whistle. Go for it, Ruby. <whistles> Let's get out of here. Wait for me. And me! Shall we? You go, I'll catch up. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll go down. Good luck. Maybe we'll see. Wow, that was fun. What shall we do with the whistle? I think we should throw it away. It means trouble. Good idea.